I'm about to go to Dollar Tree so I can get some paper towels and napkins. I was supposed to get some last week when I went to the store, but it slipped my mind for some reason. So today I'm going to go there to get some paper towels. And I saw that one of my packages arrived, so I'm excited to unbox that later and see what I got. I had to stop by Walmart to get some steel toe boots because I got a call earlier for a new opportunity that I'm starting tomorrow and I need some steel toe boots for it. I had to go to two different Walmarts to get my size and in women's because the first one didn't have it. They only had a smaller selection. But this one thankfully had some women's shoes in my size. One of the employees actually helped me to find it and I'm super excited to start this new opportunity tomorrow and the fact that I got my shoes. Alright, let's see what's inside this box. my clip-on light which is awesome I recently turned 28 which is so crazy to say out loud because I really don't feel like I'm 28 years old but I am and before I turned 28 I did some reflection on how my life looked what kind of progress I made and how I want to move forward in life when it comes to my business and just life in general so I came up with my top five brand layers and I want to share them with you so that you can see if this is the right community for you and if you want to support my journey of getting monetized on here as well as just building my online business. My first brand layer is public speaking. I've been working on my public speaking skills for seven years and I started working on it by joining a nonprofit called Toastmasters International. You may or may not have heard of it, but it is a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to helping people improve their communication and leadership skills. No, this video is not sponsored by them or even affiliated with them. But that's how I started my journey was through Toastmasters and eventually I branched out and I competed in speech competitions in different universities and different organizations. I went on to do some trainings. I am making videos on social media now and I've started offering some digital marketing services to businesses who need help with creating content for their social media profiles or for their marketing efforts. Even though I've been working on my public speaking skills for seven years, I'm not a professional speaker yet. And I'm still learning. This is a journey. It's not something where you work on it for a certain number of years and then you're good, you're perfect. No, it's a continuous effort, a continuous journey of improving on your communication skills. So even though, again, I have seven years, I'm still dealing with anxiety. I'm still working on my on-camera presence because talking to a camera is way different than presenting to people online or in person very different than presenting in person which i've done i have done trainings in person i can i've given presentations in person i've competed in speech competitions in person then i moved on to doing online trainings and presentations via zoom and other online platforms during the pandemic that's when that mostly started and now i am sharing and creating videos for social media I am working on growing my own social media profiles and really building up my personal business. I'm very passionate about public speaking because I know what it's like to be so nervous to the point where you don't want to get up in front of an audience or you don't want to press record because you're terrified of what people are going to say or how they're going to react because you're so in your head and you think you're not good enough to speak in front of an audience or to post that video or to create videos. And I see so many people hide behind trending sounds and music and audio that's not their own voice because they're so afraid to use their own voice. So my mission is to help people to learn to own their voice and to stand out from this crowded online space with audio, video, and live presentations. I am here to teach you what I've learned throughout my seven years and what I'm going to learn in the future because again, this is a continuous journey, a continuous effort to improve. I'm here to share what has helped me along the way and what I am learning, new skills, new strategies, new tools that can help you to also improve your public speaking skills. Another thing when it comes to public speaking is I want people to 
rewired the way they think about the term public speaking. A lot of times when people hear the word public speaking, they think about getting up in front of a classroom or a meeting room and doing a presentation. Those are definitely forms of public speaking, but public speaking is not confined to only those two examples. You engage in public speaking when you are going live on YouTube or Facebook. You engage in public speaking when you have to do an interview, whether it's for a job or for a radio station or for a TV station. Public speaking is not just giving a presentation at school or at work. It is when you are speaking in public to other people, whether it's one person, two people, 100 people, it doesn't matter if you're speaking in public to them online or in person, that is a form of public speaking and I'm here to help you improve your public speaking skills so that you can feel comfortable and confident enough to use your own voice and to really immerse yourself in different public speaking situations to help you build your own presence, to help you share your message with the world because I know you have a story and a message to share and I'm, I'm here to help you do so with all the stumbling and the fumbling <laughs> along the way. My second brand layer is modest clothing. As you can see, I dress modestly and this is something I've been doing since I was 18 years old and now I'm 28, so it's been almost 10 years that I have been dressing modestly. It'll be 10 years later this year, that's why I'm saying almost. I'm very, very passionate about modesty and specifically modest clothing because there's this misconception that only old people dress modestly, that if you're in your 20s like me, that you shouldn't dress modestly because that's for old people and you're going to look old and you need to show some skin. You can definitely dress modestly when you're in your 20s and 30s. There is nothing wrong with dressing modestly. It's actually very empowering because you get to control how much of you other people get to see. You look very professional. People are more focused on what you have to say, what you have to offer, your skills versus how much of your skin is showing. I also want to debunk the myth that modesty or modest clothing is only for when it's cold outside. That's when you typically see people cover up. But you can definitely dress modestly in the warmer season. You can definitely dress modestly during spring and summer. Nothing wrong with that. My third brand layer is being a content creator. I am definitely a content creator at heart. I love to write, I like to record podcast episodes, I like to create videos, I like to film and edit and just be creative in general. I am definitely a content creator and I want to share more about what it's like being a content creator. I want to share the tools that I use to create different pieces of content. I want to share my processes and strategies. I want to share some mistakes I've made along the way and some lessons that I've learned that can help you with your content creation journey or your content creation process. One of my goals is to post more videos around digital media to help you learn how to navigate different platforms, different social media platforms, different applications that you can use in order to help you with your content creation process. My fourth brand layer is becoming a successful entrepreneur. I've made money from affiliate marketing, from selling a digital product, and from a website coaching client that I've had. And although I've made money in different ways, I'm not a successful entrepreneur yet. To me, being a successful entrepreneur is having financial independence and time freedom. When you have financial independence, you don't have to look at the price tag of something that you want, whether it's a product or a service or even a property. That is the least of your concern. What you're more concerned about is is this the right product or service for me? Does it offer what I'm looking for? Is the quality high? Those are the things you're going to focus on versus how much does this cost? Is this in my budget? Can I afford this? Do I have to pull from my savings to pay for that? So to me, being successful means not having to worry about how much something costs. Like I've just got it. If I need it, I can pay for it. If I want it, I can pay for it. Don't need to worry about the price. Don't even have to look at the price. 
I can just get whatever I want. The second part of success to me is having time freedom. I want to be in control of my schedule and I want to have the ability to change things around if something is thrown at me. If I have an emergency or if I have a last minute meeting that I need to take or if I have an opportunity that I really want to take advantage of but it wasn't planned within my schedule, I want to be able to take that opportunity. I want to be able to handle whatever emergency is thrown my way. I don't want to have to answer to someone or ask for permission from someone else for me to be able to change up my schedule or for me to take time off or for me to leave. I want the flexibility to just control my own schedule and to go about my day as I want to or as is needed. So for me, being a successful entrepreneur is having those two things, financial independence and time freedom. And I wanna share more about my journey of becoming a successful entrepreneur. My goal is to become a full-time entrepreneur. That's what I want to do. That's who I want to be. That's what I strongly feel that I'm called to do is to be a full-time entrepreneur. And I wanna share more about that journey and take you along with me to share what is working, what isn't working, what mistakes I've made, what lessons I've learned. Kind of the same thing as me being a content creator, except focusing more on the business side, on me making money and having that time freedom and that flexibility that I'm seeking. My fifth personal brand layer is trying new things and documenting my life more. This layer goes hand in hand with the other four that I shared because in order for me to be a content creator, for me to become a successful entrepreneur, it is going to entail me trying new things, trying new strategies, new processes, new tools, new ideas. So I want to try more new things when it does come to my business, but also just my life in general. One of the goals that I set for this year is for me to try something new or go somewhere new at least once a month. I want to build more positive memories and I want to build my skills and improve the quality of my life overall. So that will entail me trying new things. The second part of the fifth layer is me documenting my life more. I want to have proof of what I've done and I want to have photos and videos that I can look back on to see what I did in the past and I can also see how far I've come along in my journey. I want to see the progress that I've made and I want to see how much I am progressing over several months and years. I want to see am I doing what I need to do in order to reach my goals? Am I slacking in certain areas? And I also just want to remind myself of how far I've come because I know I can get in my head sometimes and think, well, because I didn't reach X, Y, Z goal, then I didn't really do as much compared to other people. But when I look back to see, yeah, even though I didn't reach X, Y, Z goal, I did do this and that. And those are things worth celebrating. Those are things worth recognizing and acknowledging. So I want to document my life more in the forms of photos and videos and... I want to share it, certain things, not everything. <laughs> I want to share some things on my different social media platforms, on my website, on my podcast, and other things I'll just like to have for myself to keep in my photo album and to share with my loved ones. Those are my five brand layers for this year and going forward in this new chapter of my life. I would love to know what are some of your personal brand layers. Leave your answer in the comments below. If those five personal brand layers resonated with you, then I invite you to join my community and to follow along with my journey of becoming a successful entrepreneur. I'm going to build up my personal brand, the Jessica Ducaron brand. That's how you say my last name in case you were wondering. And I'm just excited to see how things are going to look by the end of this year and by the time I'm 29. God willing, I live to see the age of 29. I'm very thankful that I have lived to see the age of 28. And I'm just really excited to see what is to come from all of this. So again, let me know in the comments, what are some of your personal brand layers? And if you have any specific questions about anything that I've mentioned about public speaking or about digital media 
or about being a content creator or becoming an entrepreneur, then also leave those questions in the comments below and I might make a video or a podcast episode or a blog post to answer those questions. I might also just answer them in the comment section if they can just be answered really quickly. But even so, I might use those questions as prompts for future content. So thank you so much for watching and if you decide to be a part of the community, then welcome. And if not, then thanks for stopping by.